Hello, and welcome to another episode of Imminent Collections, a series where I take a look at the various collections of things I have accrued over the years. And today we have quite an interesting item, uh, and something I kind of stumbled upon recently that I'd completely forgotten about for the last like 10, 15 years, and that is Pokemon Stacks. Let me know in the comments if you've ever heard of this, because I tell you what, until recently I had completely blanked it from my memory. Uh, so, for those not in the know, Stacks, uh, spelled S-T-A-K-S, because it's cool, was a sort of small line of collectible Pokemon-related magnets from 2002, as best as my research can find. I haven't done a great re deal of research, but I could be wrong. And... Uh, at one point, I got this really snazzy folder, which we'll be taking a look at in a second. Which has in it uh, a binder and some other stuff, all for this game. So, I haven't actually taken a look inside of here. Because I picked it up recently uh, while sorting through stuff in my room. And I thought, hey, this would make a great video. And I was about to look through it and sort of, you know, get stuff ready. But I thought, no. No, 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 I'm not going to do that. So... Before we do anything else, I'm going to grab one of these quickly. Alright, so I don't actually have any of the old packs with me, so they'd come in like small packs. I think you got two or three stacks in each one, but they did come with these things here, uh, which is a checklist. So, I'm going to take a quick look, but as you can see, there were loads of them. But wait, there's more! <laughs> Jesus, hang on, how many are there? All right, just had a look. So there's 240 regular, and then there are the Mega ones, uh, which is weirdly predictive, actually, because Mega Pokemon did become a thing, although there is no Mega Mill Tank, so they were kind of off on that. But I, for some reason, kept a ton of these checklists. I guess there was a space at the front of the binder, so it makes sense. Uh, so this... I want to say this binder actually... I bought as a kind of starter pack kind of thing. So, as you can see from the front, this came out during Gen 2 of Pokemon. This is the Johto League Champions. Uh, and this is by Panini, if anyone was interested. Which is both a sandwich and also a British... I want to say they're British, but maybe they're European. Uh, they did a lot of, like, trading card kind of things. There was, like, a James Bond one. They did quite a few... Pokemon um, anime sort of themed cards as well, so not the TCG but like a different set. So that's my binder, I'm going to put that off to the side for a second. I'm also going to take out this, so that is the rest of the folder. This is a folder specifically made for stacks, that does say Panini there. Uh, so there was a game involved with this um, and I think, I'm going to put that to the side, I think it all revolved around... Ah, there you go. So, you threw your magnets. We'll take a look at the magnets in a second, but that's going to be this, the coolest thing, I think. You threw it onto this board. I don't know if there was, like, rules about how you're meant to be positioned or whatever, but wherever it landed, it would get you some points. Uh, to un par. You lose. Oh, okay, so it, if it lands um, in the black, you lose, I guess. And then you get one, two, or three, or five stacks if you hit Pikachu in the middle there. Honestly, this is giving me a massive nostalgia rush. So we've got Politoed, we've got Sizzle, we've got Totodile. Don't know why just Totodile. Um, he did feature a lot in the anime at the time, I guess. Uh, and then obviously Pikachu in the middle, because this is a Pokemon product. And on the back, though, this is one of the coolest things. We've got, like, a bit of Johto's map. I don't think that's all of Johto, right? Let me know in the comments, actually. But this was, like, kind of a bit of a weird thing. And I remember even at the time being like, wow, they've actually printed off a map here. Sort of like it's... Which is interesting. You didn't see a lot of game-accurate stuff. It was always just anime. Um, but yeah. That is very cool. Also, you will notice as well, the GS ball is featured heavily. I think that's the GS ball, anyway. Um, if you've not seen the anime, back in the Johto era, there was a plot device of a mysterious golden Pokeball with G or GS, I can't remember, on the front. 
Um, and that never went anywhere and just kind of got abandoned. But it was meant to go somewhere, I think. Anyway, I'm going to put those to the side now and in a minute we're going to take a look inside here. Alright, sorry, I uh, just want to double check I hadn't actually left anything in that folder there. Um, before we do open this, uh, on the back is also the map and also on the back is the check sheet. So th th that's interesting, I guess. Now, I, r I do believe this does consist of a few of, at the time, my friend in school's stacks as well. I had the folder, so he kept his stuff in mine, and eventually I think he just didn't care about her anymore. So, we're going to take a look, and already we are off to a heck of a start. Uh, so, I'm just going to have a quick look at them. So, we've got Pidgey, we've got Pikachu, which, is that a Mega? Hang on. All right, I'm an idiot. Somehow it didn't cross my mind that there are 251 or however many stacks because that's how many Pokemon there are and there's a stack for each one. Um, also, the other thing I didn't realise is that certain Pokemon are Megas. They are just Mega. Um, I think there is like a subset, but for example, you can see a Bulbasaur, Charmander. Oh, <laughs> wait, what the hell? Okay, <laughs> so so Bulbasaur's a Mega, not Ivysaur or Venusaur. All of the Charmander lines are Mega, Squirtle's a Mega, and Blastoise is a Mega, but not Wartortle. Wow. I mean, I, I, there's obviously f blatant favouritism. There always has been, but that is wild. Um, so we'll take a look at the... So yeah, it finishes at 250, which makes sense. Oh, okay. So the other stacks are like Ash, Misty, Brock, Team Rocket, stuff like that, um, and I guess just certain special ones that are anime themed. So yeah, so I'm an idiot. I thought the Megas were the subset, but no, uh, all of these can well, some of them can be Megas, but they're only Megas, if that makes sense. So you, I don't think you can get a non-Mega Pikachu. And by Mega, I mean they're magnets that have sparkly patterns. That's really cool, though. I am digging that. So we've got, uh, I do have some doubles, so I think, again, these go back to my friend in school, kind of gave me them. Uh, so I'm going to stick some of these on my fridge, I think. Uh, I have found a seller on eBay who is selling them for like £2 or something, so I might, <laughs> I might do so something financially unwise, but we'll see. So, Pikachu's a Mega, we've got Gloom and Vileplume, we've got Venonat, we've got Arcanine, who's a Mega. Uh, he is technically a mi mythical or legendary, what was the, the Pokedex mention he is? Uh, we've got... Is that? No, I was trying to... I thought Parasect was hollow for a second, but no, he's not. We've got the whole Paris line, that's right. Shout out all you Paris fans. Uh, Persian is a mega for some reason. Meowth, I understand. He's big in the anime. Persian, don't understand. But then I guess Arcanine. But mm, Arcanine did feature in the intro video, didn't he? I don't know. Uh, we've got Psyduck, who obviously was popular in uh, in the anime as well. Are they all the same? Yeah, okay, yeah. They've all got the same kind of, like, pattern. But it, it is, you know, different. Uh, we've got Dugong, Muck, Executor, Hitmonchan. He's one of my favourites from Gen 1. Coughing and Weezing. They got full co... That's weird. So, Persian is a mega, despite the fact it's just an evil... I guess it's Giovanni's Persian. But, like, Coughing, who is obviously one of Team Rocket's Pokemon, isn't a mega. Okay. We've got Tangular... Okay, Stormy is Misty's Pokemon, I guess. Uh, really digging that. And then next, hopefully they haven't stuck together. Okay, we don't have quite as many as I thought. This is going to be a short video, but still. We've got a Kabuto. We've got a Snorlax. A Zapdos. And then we're on to Gen 2. Uh, we've got Chikorita. Very cool. Blossom. We've got a Wobbuffet. A Steelix. A Quillfish. Swinub. Remoraid. Houndour, Houndour, Houndour. Uh, we've got a uh, Smeagol. Elekid 
is a mega, sure. So is Blissey. Um, okay, Entei. Entei is fine. Entei is understandable. Why are Elekid and Blissey megas? I mean, they're cool, but what? Well, I, I don't understand. Well, hey, there you go. Um, and that, that is it. It's a very short video, but I thought I'd show you guys. I do have a pretty pristine binder of stacks. Um, as I said, I have found a seller who, so do I make a large order of them? Because these one day, I swear to God, will be really valuable. Uh, so definitely, you know, invest in them now uh, because it's just going to go up from here. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys. Let me know in the comments if any of you ever had stacks. I don't even know if they were sold anywhere but like the UK and Europe. Probably they were. Um, I don't know, maybe Panini is like a US brand. I've always associated them with being UK, but you know, I could be wrong. Uh, anyway, now I'll leave a video to my other uh, imminent collection video on, this, uh, on the side there. I've done quite a few. I've got a really interesting one on Pokemon sliders, which it turns out I have the full collection of. So um, that's something I, I like to brag to people about um, that I meet in the streets. So yeah, I'll let you get on now. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys again.